Hey, what's up? My name is PJ and in this video, I'm going to be showing you a Strober style portrait shoot with a point and shoot camera, the G7X Mark II. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> So I've had this little camera for a few weeks now and I am loving it. I've been using it a whole lot for videos especially. It does take really nice photos though. In this video I wanted to show you that you can do a portrait shoot basically. You can use this camera to trigger, trigger external flashes and basically take control of the light. I'm very much inspired by Digital Rev um, cheap camera challenge with David Hobby. I think I mentioned that in the video but yeah essentially we're going to use the onboard flash of this to trigger my external flashes and create a new lighting environment. Okay, so here's me setting up quickly. Basically, this shoot was inspired by David Hobby's Digital Rev Cheap Photography Challenge. Um, I want to do a Strobus style shoot with a pointy shoot camera. So this is the G7X. You'll see I have a bit of something attached to the front. It's actually a chopped up iTunes card. What I'm going to be doing in this video is triggering my off-camera flashes with the optical slave. So the flash from the G7X2 is going to trigger the other flashes. As you can see, I've blocked it, so it's not going to be affecting myself as the subject. That means the little burst of light is going to be triggering this flash here. As you can see, it's set to S1 mode, which is the optical slave. That means inside that little red bit, there's a little optical trigger. So when it sees a burst of light, it's going to fire. So this is the softbox I've got it in. It's a 90 centimeter rectangle softbox. This is the baseline shot. It's basically the manual settings that I've got throughout the video, but without any flash. So it's, that's what the frame looks like. Uh, yeah, without any lighting. This is the exact same settings, but with the on-camera flash, so the flash is pointed directly at me on the G7X2. It's pretty unflattering. This is the full automatic mode in the camera, letting the camera choose all the settings for me. It's very, very plain, but very even as well. And this is what we've got with the manual settings, introducing the first softbox. So as you can see, there's a lot better shape in the face. It's a lot more flattering. I've got a bit of a, a jawline happening there. It's just generally a much more interesting and, and cool moody image. I can underexpose the background, but still light the subject really, really well. So that's definitely, that's my style of lighting for sure. And it's fun to do with a point and shoot camera. Very easy to do with the optical slaves. Alright, so for this look, I've added a second flash. It's another Yongnuo 562. Also optically triggered, but I've got a yellow gel on it. And it's going to be adding some rim slash fill. It's directly on me at the moment, so it just gives a, a new bit of interest to the image. It adds a bit of color. Now what I'm doing is I'm feathering the light source. So I'm turning the flash away from me so that the back of the subject, which is me in this case, he's only going to get the edge of the light beam. Just adds a little bit more finesse. It shows that you can control the light a little bit better and it makes that rim lighting, that edge lighting very subtle and very cool. As a bonus, the background looks like it's getting a really cool sunset um, golden hour lighting effect on it, which I really love too. So yeah, I definitely think that's a much more polished, a much more professional looking photo. Adds a little bit more depth, some extra color in the skin tones, which I love. And yeah, as a bonus, the background looks like, looks like a sunset, which I really like. So this is the automatic image straight from the camera. That's obviously the manual settings with no flash. And the third one is the on-camera flash of the G7X Mark II just to show you what the camera would give you usually. This is with no external lighting. So this is obviously with the first flash added through the softbox. Very flattering, nice, soft wrapping light. The second photo is the softbox with the second light, which is the direct flash. And the third image is the a little bit more technical um, second light with the light source turned away. So it's only in the edge of the light. The lighting is much more subtle. Here's a comparison of the direct rim light and the feathered rim. So yeah, 
You might prefer the other one. I'd be interested to know which image do you prefer. Leave a comment below. Personally, I think the second one is much more interesting as it just shows that the photographer has much more control of the light. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. This is definitely my favorite type of content to consume as well as create. I love anything to do with lighting, um, external flashes, especially on the DIY end of the scale. It really gets me excited if you know what I mean. If you like this type of content as well, let me know with one of these bad boys. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Hey, what's up? My name is PJ and in this video I'm going to be showing you a...